What role will email play in the future of communication? An important one, according to Christian Hunker from Eden Spiekermann, especially between brands and their customers. So what I think and um, what I see when I work with brands and uh, talk about email is that email um, has the power um, to become uh, um, something much more than just um, a conversation between people. And because I think it's superior to uh, messaging um, in a way that it is universal and beyond platform walls, uh, which messaging has a problem with. And this um, power of default I always refer to, that everyone has an email uh, and can communicate with friends through that as a universal token. I think that is something which can be increased and enriched in the future so that um, brands can interact with um, uh, with people in an interesting way throughout the customer journey so that um, uh, email does not um, uh, stay as a weak point in the customer journey of oh that's so limited it's so uh, restricted uh, in terms of creating a great uh, user experience but can be much more helpful and much more faceted and much more um, uh, an interesting and attractive service worker for brands uh, as part of the customer journey. So I think uh, brands have to really acknowledge this um, ability of, of email uh, being a, um, a strong chain um, uh, or a, a strong uh, part of the chain, part of the customer journey and to really use it to uh, much different um, uh, uh, scenarios uh, uh, that they're doing right now and I would wish that people would really um, become creative and uh, develop new products or more so, uh, new services or new functionalities which email can provide to them uh, as a universal um, identification system or as a universal um, uh, tool that everyone uh, goes back to if he wants to effortless connect to a brand or service or um, a commercial entity. But what about the voices that claim that email is dead? The brands we work with will never get rid of email um, in their customer journeys or in their brand experiences, but it will serve a different purpose. And um, I see um, right now uh, the, pass uh, the importance of email, especially in all things uh, going into personalization, going into identification, going into a first step into a brand relation and then um, uh, being the foundation of uh, uh, the next part of those brand experiences. So uh, would it be purchase, would it be intent, would it be content um, uh, creation where I want to subscribe, where I want to um, form a relationship with the brand. Email still is such an effortless way of identification and of starting that relationship. And I think this won't go, uh, go away soon. And uh, when we talk about uh, retail, um, there is so much trust in uh, doing commerce on email um, that I think this won't go away soon. Um, and again, it might be that you have to offer additionally conversational voice and all of that. And maybe the perception or the technology mix will be uh, shifting in it. But I think it's, it will uh, stay for a very long time. And, um, there's just this, as I said, this term of um, the power of default. Um, you won't change that um, because you rely on it. BEAMI, or Brand Indicators for Message Identification, is a protocol to enable authentication of logos in emails and apps. Dot Magazine asked Christian Hunker what he sees as its value for brands. So as I understood it, and I'm not as deep as um, uh, others in this field, but as, uh, as far as I understood, this is really a big step towards gaining trust um, uh, as a brand in the email world. Uh, because uh, spamming still is such a big problem and uh, you could have the best spam filters and still, like the other day I received a spam uh, filter from a fake um, WeTransfer. Uh, email. So uh, it looked exactly the same and uh, it was a fraud and I think uh, uh, when we still have those um, uh, problems uh, in that amount and in that volume, um, I mean as a consumer you, you don't see the 90% which are uh, already filtered away but still uh, if it still has that connotation it, uh, pollutes, uh, it pollutes the whole space and it, it drives it down and an initiative like BIMI could really um, be something of a measure against that uh, to gain trust in brands as an email um, uh, platform 
and um, I think uh, the abilities for, for brands uh, to be like a verified account, kind of this metaphor the social networks use, um, is something which is commonly um, distributed and, and, and if we could uh, reach that for email as well, it would be amazing. More like this brand talks to that person and it's, it's a trustful, uh, verified relationship. And so I, th I see it more as a logical step than uh, as something crazy new uh, we have to be afraid of.